What's up guys, it's Charles here with Rocket Punch Army to do another look at a vintage figure. You guys are probably smacking yourselves in the head if uh, you're not into that, but please bear with me. The reason I'm looking at older stuff is because I have no money for new stuff. Uh, I did buy uh, the new Solo Trigo King, so stay tuned for that. That's going to be fun and awesome. So, for now, taking a look at some old stuff that I'm getting rid of that I didn't review that I want to show you guys. And if I did review it, I'm sorry, I don't remember. can't find it in my channel. So, here it is. We're looking at a Mospeda Genesis Climber, uh, geez, what is this, VR052F. This is the stick type, or otherwise known at the, as the uh, Scott Bernard's uh, Cyclone, for those guys interested. Anyway, uh, this is a Gakken release. Uh, you might remember them. They made all the, um, the other uh, Mospeda figures. Uh, as a matter of fact, I went to get one of the green uh, jet fighters, what do they call the Alpha fighters or whatever. Not a big fan, so I'm sorry if I'm messing that up. Uh, from Child World a long time ago, and it was like 25 bucks, which is like a million dollars today. And I took a sticker off another toy. I said $7, and I put it right on there, went to the register, and the guy's like, I'm sorry, this is not $7. And I said, oh, but you got the sticker on it, so you got to honor it. And boom, 13 years old or whatever, however old I was, I don't remember. It was really young, maybe even less. I was already uh, engaged in criminal activity. So, uh, Sorry. But uh, anyway, getting back to the point, I'm going to do a little quick view of this. Um, and I, I, I do them quick because there's really not much to these figures. They're just old figures that, uh, you know, us kids uh, back then had to play with, which are very basic. Um, so normally you would, uh, well, now in the, uh, I can't even talk, guys, I'm sorry. But there are newer versions of this where they transform into what you see here. But this doesn't. This is so basic. So we're going to open this up. Is there a spot that's going to open up without me fighting it? There we go. You have to uh, you know, excuse my uh, you know, forgetfulness in talking. I haven't done a review in forever. Alright, so we get a little uh, catalog here with some beautiful artwork here. So this is the guy. This is the one that I you know, cheated that store of. I love that. That was a great toy. Solid. The only problem was that little antenna broke. But other than that, that toy is like ridiculously solid. Didn't break anything else. And I love this like skeleton or see-through armor thing where you can see all the internal bits. That would make an awesome DX uh, Shogoking figure. And if we look at the back, we get the story, which of course is in Japanese and I have no clue what it says. And some of the characters. All right. So here is the styrofoam itself. Let me pull this back. Please don't come out crashing. Ooh, look at that. Simple. Got one of the decals coming off already, but I'm not worried about that too much. But um, that's it. Look at this. So simple. And you got the little plastic gun. It's just a one color plastic here. So let's see what this guy does. Arms. Do they swivel? Looks like they do. They're like super stiff. Again, this toy is unplayed with, so uh, you know nobody took it out, and played with it. The joints are not loose. Get knee action here. Woo! About like three degrees. And it does look like the arm swivel, but you know how I am with uh, vintage figures. Uh, if I can break new stuff with better plastics, I'm sure I can uh, break old stuff with old plastics. So. Not going to really push that too far. Wheels don't roll. They are plastic. Um, these parts swivel. Uh, they would come out if the arms were forward. But again, I'm not going to push my luck with that one. And it's got the stamping, the Japanese stamping. you notice uh, it's a little bit of yellowing on the plastic bits, so they don't match exactly the paint here. And I don't know if they even did when they were new. But I'm going to assume they did since uh, plastic does tend to yellow over the years. And the head does not move. Alright. So not much going on with this, guys. Very simple, which is why I just decided to keep these reviews very, very quick uh, and short. So yeah, uh, if you're wondering where the metal content is, you get the metal on the bars back here for the uh, tires and also the lower legs. No ankle movement, nothing like that. But this is, you can kill somebody with this. I mean, it's only got the metal, you know, from here down and some up here. But if you throw this at someone's head, you know, 
they're going to go tits up. Um, that's it, guys. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. If you're interested in getting some cool stuff, please check out uh, the link to BBTS down below. Until next time, bye-bye. Stay tuned for uh, GX71 Golion Voltron. Bye-bye.